If you're looking at another 10x company, you got it. CloudMD, ticker DOC, DOC, stock, one of my best growth stocks 2021. A lot of good information is coming, I promise you guys. Hey! You will not regret this one. This one is a top one. In this video, I will make a full overview of CloudMD business and how it works. We will see their financials. Then I will do a deep dive into comparisons with competitors. At the end of this video, you should have no questions why I picked this growth stock and why I think this is the one of the best growth stocks. In other words, we will see these five points. What a company does exactly. Business model. How well do they do it? Finances. Competitors and external factors. Risks. Where is my 10x? Future growth. Until when I am buying. Price target. Hi, this is Fine Finance. My name is Alex. So, quick note. When I pick my stocks, I mainly look at two things. It should be financially viable. By this I mean it does not have to be profitable yet. But it has to show the management can handle business and generate income. Also, current short-term liabilities have to be less than short-term assets. In other words, this company does have enough cash in order to cover its obligations. So its current ratio should be more than one. It has to be in the niche market with a great growth potential. In other words, the niche market has to be a long-term trend. This way, even if the company does management errors, it still has a possibility to grow since the market is almost empty. When a company has two of these things, I start to look at it closer. The only reason why I'm telling you all about this is that the stocks that I pick to make videos about should be a great candidate to make tannics in the near future. And this one can be named one of the best stocks 2020 in Canada. I appreciate your early likes since it takes all of my free time to make a video like this and I'm pretty sure that it will bring you available information and save you a lot of time. Okay, let's start. What is the business model? So what is the ordinary process right now if you want to go to see a doctor and to schedule an appointment? So you schedule an appointment over the phone in the clinic. This step alone sometimes takes me up to 15 minutes. And finally, you can go to your doctor, which for me it's only 15 minutes one-way commute. But still, once you are in the clinic, they make you wait. You arrive usually early, just in case, so doctor, you know, do not wait you, but you will wait for the doctor. So it happened for me to wait for another 40 minutes. Anyway, all of that additional time to get advice from a doctor is about one hour for me. Here comes CloudMD. CloudMD is a health tech company looking to disrupt the way healthcare is delivered in Canada and around the world. By putting everything in the patient's hands and giving them full control over it, you're basically giving them the power to share whatever they want with whoever they want. And really that's the key kind of going forward. Well, the great thing about CloudMD is that it's an app, it's free. Anybody can download it in the app store and they can see a doctor on demand from the comfort of their home or from work and have even a prescription delivered to them at the end of it or a lab rack sent to the lab or a referral to a specialist. CloudMD is a health tech company. CloudMD is a doctor on your phone. You simply download an app or go to their website. Enter your information for Canadians. You enter your health card number and all medical help is free for you. So simply, pick the doctor you want and if you don't like that doctor, you can change it as simple as clicking that like button. This is huge. No, no wait time. Zero, nol, zero, rien. I have to demonstrate my language skills somewhere. You can choose your doctors. This is more difficult to do in real life. You can see your health metrics and with graphs without asking your doctor to show you and begging for it. Please show me my blood results, show me my... Oh. For me personally, I do not get results unless I do go to see a doctor and specifically ask for it. It is a patient-centric system, not the other way around like today in the ordinary clinic. If you go to your clinic, the information about you stays there on their servers. And if you want to change your clinic to go to another doctor, you got it. It's hard. 
And by the way, this is not a virtual walk-in clinic, if you thought about this. They have follow-ups. You might want to say, but this will never replace physical contact with my doctor. They thought about this. There are pharmacies in every neighborhood, so you can be assessed in the pharmacy at a distance of your home using tools to take your blood pressure or any other metrics needed to advise you. So wherever you are, you can go simply to the nearest pharmacy and see any doctor, since you have all your information in one file with you. What is this? I guess you would agree that this is the future. And another selling point for me is that there is no entry barrier, since for Canadian at least, it is free. I mean, somebody pays for it, but for you it's free. Just need to add a health card number, if you have one. The Canadian health system then pays for doctors. The similar process should be with insurances. Do you feel already now? This can be one of the best growth stocks in the next decade? No? Wait for the next thing. During next year, I will do a Clown Deed stock update, so don't forget to subscribe to see all updates about number two. How well do they do it? Finances. Let's start with the market cap. Dog stock. It is a small market cap company with only 300 million American dollars, which is a pretty much nothing for healthcare stocks in this market niche, but we will get back to it later. In the part four, we will talk about potential growth. The company is traded in three countries today. This long name that I, I cannot pronounce, but I will try. I've just put it here in the link down below. DOCRF for the United States, DOC or DOCV for Canada, and weird name, which is 6PH in Germany. But let's start with the current ratio I'm looking at when doing analysis. So for dog stock, current ratio equals to unbelievable 4.9 just to remind you that the current ratio of 1 means that the short-term company has just enough cash to cover its financial obligations during next year. A current ratio of more than 1 is good enough, is a good one. Ratio of 4.9 is just great, 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 great enough. Of course, all of the ratios like PS ratio is not applicable for a growth company like this. This is not a profitable company yet, which is normal. The most important things for me is that they show the ability to generate more and more income in a sustainable manner, of course. Since when you grow, you need to invest. You simply cannot be profitable. Looking at their income statement, 2018, $1.2 million, American dollars. 2019, we are already at $6.7 million. Last 12 months, was around 10.5 million dollars. This is very fast growth. But since the numbers are pretty small at this point, this is normal to see increases at about 500%. I mean, this is pretty sustainable for me at this point. Net income is quite negative at this point. I cannot expect anything from a startup which aims big. Number three, competitors and external factors, risks. So far, we have four main competitors on the North American market among telemedicine stocks. In Canada, Well Health, public since 2016. In the United States, American Well, public since September 2020, which is not that far. Teladoc Health, being public since 2015. And since we're talking about CloudMD, CloudMD has been a public company since June 2020. For this huge market, billions of dollars, I do not have the exact amount, unfortunately, but from what I could find is that in 2019, the estimated revenue for the industry was 2.5 trillion US dollars, and 47.6% of the revenue was generated by the sub-industry hospitals. Source is statista.com. I do not know which part of it can be related to the services, that can be provided by telemedicine. But I think that those numbers are in hundreds of billions of dollars in the US alone. Let me know if you know that number, I would really appreciate it. So I can only guess that this stage, the risk that four companies will not have enough space on the market, which is so huge, can be ignored. And in the future, I'm sure there will be some mergers between those companies. Yeah, there is for me, there is not really a big risk of a bankruptcy of one company, since in such area, if one company does not 
even feel better in terms of financial health at some point in their life, chances are high they will be acquired by another competitor. And in this case, normally you don't lose your money, right? So because the reason why they do it, because they have all the infrastructure in place. And if another company knows how to make it profitable, they need to acquire that infrastructure and as well as database numbers, clients that what they acquire. I do not see any risk related to why would people not use it since there is no entry barriers, at least in Canada, which makes me feel even better about these early days of a Canadian company. Being a web developer myself, I do not see any technological risk as well to CloudMD. In particular, they have enough money to build great software. And also, in terms of immigration policy, Canada is still open to outside world, so there is a lot of engineers start to live their life in Canada and work for companies like CloudMD. The pain point for me is to look at the ability to make doctors join CloudMD rather than their competitors. But this is one of the reasons why they do a lot of acquisitions, but more on this in the next part. You can always do a quick check to eliminate another risk, insider sell-off. If management sells company shares, it can be a red flag to me. And see that management consistently buys its own shares. What a great thing. This is a good sign for me. Let me know if you can think of any other risk of this company in particular. Number 4. Where is my 10x, will you say? future growth. Here we go to the most interesting part, for me at least. Tell me where is the money? Why do you think this at least 10x growth stock? Let's look at the starting point. Right now we are around 300 million dollars market cap, just by comparing with competitors. Well Health, 1 billion dollar. American Well, 6 billion dollars. Teladoc Health, 17 billion dollars. So even if it reaches in the next few years the Canadian competitor, it will do 3x already without taking into consideration that the penetration on the Canadian market is still very low. Again, I do not have the exact number on this. Let me know if you have one. But I would assume that it is less than 10%. So plenty of room to grow. Even more exciting, CloudMD keeps buying other clinics in Canada and in the United States. Just look at this list in October alone, five acquisitions. Humana Care, an industry leader in employee health services, Benchmark System and first US-based chronic care clinic. Many other good news for this company for the months of October alone. In investors' communication, CloudMD says that they are implementing an expansion strategy to the US. This means that they have only started to grow. Another point about growth is that at this point, if we look at the ownership of the company, only four, four institutional investors are there and their part is only 0.7% at this time. As this company gets noticed, more institutional investors will join. I'm ready to buy, but this is not an advice. I'm just sharing my story. Do your own research. That's how I should say it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's done. We are clear now. All right. Yeah, I'm just talking with my imaginary lawyers here. Current price depends on when you watch this video. And it might look scary to invest after it grew 400% or so. But I'm looking personally at the market cap. And if it is less than $1 billion, so less than two other competitors, um, I'm ready to buy this growth stock. But of course, since I'm investing long term, I would add to my position each time the price drops. You get it so I can lower my average entry price. All in all, I think I will buy several thousand dollars over the next six months, probably five to 10, okay, depending on the total size of my portfolio. Just sharing with you, you should see what your portfolio is about and of course, make your own decisions. This is the best way to make wealth. Use your brain. Ideally, it should not take more than 6% from my portfolio. So going back to the price range with $1 billion market cap, the price should not go higher than 7 US dollars per share, just to get some targets. My opinion is that it could reach $10 billion market cap in about 5 to 10 years from now, based on the competitors alone. This already means 30x growth. Wow. I would like to know what your targets are. I have another stock waiting for you. Subscribe if you have not already. See you soon, investors. Bye.